everyone welcome back to my channel so a few weeks ago i shared an unboxing of two new pastel colored handbags that i recently purchased and as a result of buying those handbags i kind of went on a little bit of a shopping spree for clothing that would match those bags and i promise you guys that i would share what i purchased so that's essentially what today's video is going to be it's going to be part clothing haul part style inspiration so of course even if you don't have those exact bags if you have similar colors one of them is a light blue and the other is a light purple hopefully you can draw some inspiration from the outfits that i put together in this video and especially for the light purple lilac color i will be showing a few examples of colors aside from strictly a light purple color that would match with that bag so you can kind of maximize the use you can get out of a similar color and everything that i share in this video will be listed in the description box down below along with sizing information and if it's something that i own previously already and it's no longer in stock i will link something similar for you guys and since i plan on uploading this video around black friday i will also include any information on discounts and sales on these items as they're applicable so yeah let's get into this video all right so this is the first outfit and this is a very typical type of look that i go for but with a little bit of a twist so i'm going to start with the jeans first and this pair of jeans is from express and what sold me on these jeans is how unique the hem is so as you can see it's a bit of a cropped length it's got a raw hem and it's a little bit flared at the bottom but what's really unique about it is if you look at the outside at the bottom there's a little bit of a step to it it kind of looks chewed up in a way but i thought that that was really interesting and really different than anything else that i've owned so i decided to get it and yeah i really like it and this blazer is an old one that i've owned for a while now but zara does have a very similar one available right now and i'll link that in the description box down below and then the final part of this outfit is this blouse with this oversized bow on it. I'll show the blouse a little bit better in the next outfit because I do have it styled with that outfit too. But I just have the bow kind of outside the blazer. So it kind of is like a little bit of a contrast with the rest of the blazer. And you can definitely just have this unbuttoned if you want to. But I really like how this looks with this buttoned up blazer and just having the bow sticking out. So here is the blouse styled another way. And this blouse does have these two tiers of ruffles at the top as well as this oversized bow. And the fabric is actually a little bit unique. So as you can see, it's got these Swiss dots running through it. And on the sleeves, you do have these rhinestone buttons to add a little bit of sparkle. And I have it paired with this blue tweed pinafore dress. And this dress is actually really pretty, but unfortunately I'm going to be returning it because, well, for one, as you can see here, there is a button missing, but I don't think I'll be even exchanging it because this actually runs very, very big. So much so that on Zara's website, they even state that it does run big. And I think this is actually the first time that I've noticed them have any type of sizing information on the item page. They didn't have an extra small in stock, so I decided to try my luck with the small. And yeah, this is definitely, I think, two sizes too big on me. So the only reason this doesn't look ridiculous is because I have it clipped at the back just to show you guys what it should look like. But I think that if you can size down, then this looks really cute. I think this whole outfit together is really, really feminine. And yeah, I really love it, but it's just too bad that this dress does not fit me. Now this outfit is much more casual than the previous two and everything that I'm wearing is newly purchased. So let's start with this cardigan first, which is a crop length and it is a boxier fit. And you can definitely just button up this cardigan and not have what's underneath and it would look perfectly fine on its own. But I decided to wear this gray sweater tank underneath, which is also a crop length and it does have this cable knit detail on it. I just like how there is a little bit of contrast in the color 
And because I am wearing it with high-waisted jeans, you can't even see any of my skin peeking through, which is kind of how I prefer it to be. So these jeans are from Express, and I actually purchased this in a short length, just because I'm kind of on the border between the short length and the regular length. So just to be safe, I got it in the short, and I actually really like how this looks on me. I like where the bottom hits. I think it goes really nicely with the color of this bag. And I just think that this is a really nice, simple, casual outfit that would be a go-to for me on the weekends. And of course, what would a winter styling video be without a turtleneck sweater dress, which is exactly what this is. So when I bought the sweater dress, I had actually intended on belting it at the waist and having it be a little bit more form-fitting. But unfortunately, when I did that, this was just a little bit too short. And yeah, I was not really comfortable with that. So I decided to put this blazer on over it, which isn't something that I've ever tried before, but I actually really like how this looks. I think that it kind of makes it a little bit more dressy and of course it also adds warmth to the outfit. Actually, it's really warm in this right now and that's always a plus when you're outdoors and it's freezing cold outside. So yeah, this was kind of like a surprising outfit that I put together and yeah, I really like how this looks and it's also super simple too. Okay, so this might be the cutest outfit in this entire video. So this blazer as well as the mini skirt is part of a matching set. You can purchase them separately, but it has this really oversized kind of houndstooth pattern on it. And look at the buttons on this blazer. They are just so cute because every single button looks a little bit different. And there's also buttons on the pockets too. And the pockets are actually functional. It is just so cute. You can wear it buttoned up if you want to. You can have it open like this, which I personally prefer because then you can see a little bit of contrast with what you're wearing on the inside. So I just have a black sweater on the inside and I have my black over the knee boots to kind of tie it all together. And of course, can't forget the cute little purple bag. So as I mentioned, I wanted to show some outfits that weren't strictly a light purple lilac color because yeah, I think that could be a little limiting if you can just wear one single color. So this blazer is in this really pretty mint green color. And I think that this goes really nicely with the light purple on the bag. This blazer is kind of like this um, tweed material. I actually have to exchange this one because there's a little bit of snagging on some of the tweed. So if you get this blazer, just make sure that you check it carefully. Aside from that, I really like the fit of this blazer. This is from Zara and I have quite a few blazers from them and not all of them are form fitting on me. So I usually get an extra small because that's the smallest that they have, but some of their blazers are really loose on me. This one actually looks quite fitted around the waist, which I really like. And for the winter, I have it paired with a turtleneck sweater. It's just like a fitted turtleneck. And I have it with a pair of skinny jeans and my Jimmy Choo Bang Mules. You can of course also wear this with a pair of boots if you want, but yeah, I think this combination looks really nice together. I've always been a huge fan of floral blouses, so when I saw this one, I knew I had to get it. So this is from Zara, and it is made of a sheer fabric, so you definitely do need to wear something underneath it, like a cami or something like that. And this has ruffle details along the neck as well as on the sleeves. And this is a little bit of a crop fit also. I will show you guys how it looks untucked a little bit later on. So this top is a little bit strange because this is what I assume to be the front of the top because the label is on the back. So if you look at the neck over here, there is actually the slit down the center and there is a concealed button so you can button it up or you can wear it unbuttoned if you want to. But as you can see, it's very low cut. So what I did was I wore a white lace cami underneath and you can see it peeking out over here. Usually for a sheer blouse like this, I would just wear like a simple plain cami under that, but that didn't look so great, so I put on a lace one just so there's like a little bit of detail even if it does show. And you can also wear it backwards if you want to, just cut off the tag. And yeah, I have it paired with this 
mini skirt that is made out of like a faux leather material and over the knee boots and yeah i really like how this looks and here's what the blouse looks like when it's untucked so as you can see it is a little bit cropped it's kind of sitting right above my hip bone and the bottom has this kind of peplum or ruffle detail to it and the front is actually a little bit shorter than the back is so if you wanted to wear it untucked i think this would also look really nice with like a pair of faux leather leggings or even a pair of jeans i think that would look really nice too so for this last outfit i wanted to show you guys another kind of unusual color combination so i purchased this dress in this sort of plum or eggplant color it's kind of like burgundy, but it has just a little bit more purple to it. So this dress is a little bit of a looser fit, so I do have it belted at the waist. And it does have this tiered bottom, and along the chest on the sides, there is a little bit of a ruffle detail, and you can definitely wear the dress on its own if you live in a warmer climate. But because I don't, I decided to layer this lilac colored sweater on top also to tie in the color of the bag and to give it a little bit more shape i just tucked it into the belt a little bit at the front and yeah i really like how this looks this sweater is probably the perfect color match for the color of this bag and yeah i think that this looks really different and it's a nice way to tie in the darker colors in the winter months if you don't want to just go full blown with light colors and pastels so that is it for this try on haul and I really hope you guys enjoyed it and found some inspiration for pastel colored winter outfits. And do let me know in the comments down below which outfit was your favorite and do you also wear pastel colors in the winter? Personally for me, I didn't use to. I used to only really wear dark colors in the winter, but recently I've been trying to incorporate lighter colors more into my winter outfits because I kind of find that it just brightens my mood a little bit. So yeah, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.